Hello everyone. So I had a little bit of playtime while Caitlin was napping and my older kids were watching a movie. So I started off with some My Favorite Things Summer Splash cardstock that I ran through my Big Shot with the MFT Stitched Rounded Rectangle Stacks Dynamics. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And ran that through the machine and then I put it on top of my craft mat with the MFT Cloudy Day Stencil. And I'm using my just micro pour um, tape to tape down the stencil. Um, painter's tape would work too. I just had the micro pour sitting right in front of me. Um, and I was being a little finicky with the taping. I wanted to tape off any parts of the edge where the stitching was showing through the stencil. Just because I don't want the embossing paste to go over any of the stitching. So this was a little bit finicky, but it honestly only took me um, a minute or two to get all this tape down and parts of it I just kind of ripped the tape in half to go around um, the little corners there. And then I used another piece because I wanted to um, omit that bottom right cloud because I have a plan for that spot later on. Um, this whole card kind of came together in my head a couple weeks ago while I was laying in bed, you know, couldn't sleep. So I scribbled it down, kind of the layout, kind of sketched out the layout. And I knew what stamps, everything. It all just kind of came to me. Sometimes that happens and it's awesome. Other times, not so much. <laughs> So on those rare times when it does happen, it's quite wonderful because generally it means the card comes together quite easily. So this time it did. Um, I used white embossing paste and just applied that over the stencil. And there was a tiny little bit that got through the, where I didn't completely cover that bottom cloud there. And I just took my craft knife and quickly scraped it off the cardstock before it had a chance to dry into the cardstock and it was good to go. So I set that aside to dry and made sure to rinse off my stencil and the palette knife um, in the sink because you don't want to leave the embossing paste to dry on those. One, it can ruin your stencil and two, it's a pain to get off of surfaces. So while it's still wet, make sure you either put it in a dish of water or I always just take it to my kitchen and um, clean it off in the sink. And then for my little main images here, this is the Mama Elephant um, Up and Away stamp set that I got forever, like months ago. And I keep meaning to use it and yeah I was just thinking about these little characters in the balloons and that's kind of what started the whole card idea. So I stamped the little monkey and then the balloons with My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink onto some 110 pound white cardstock. And then I'm just using my Copic markers to color them in. And I've shown in the last couple videos lately I've started um, using my darkest color first and working darkest to lightest instead of how I normally go lightest to darkest and back. Um, I've been experimenting more and more going darkest to lightest and I'm really liking it. <laughs> it takes less time and I don't have to go back and forth as much as I did before. So, so far so good. So with this little guy I just did E37, E35 and E33 for kind of the main parts of his body. And then for his little tummy and his face, I started with E35 and then I did E33 and E31 just to get it a little bit lighter than the rest of him for some definition, like really simple coloring. And then I took my little R20 pink marker and just dabbed it on his little nose and added a little bit to his ears. And then he was done for the coloring. And then for the balloons, again, I kept it really simple and just did um, two colors for each um, or two shades of each color you could really get like really nice you know depth and definition if you wanted to um, do three or even four colors you know it would make the balloons just look more dimensional and gorgeous but I wanted to keep it simple since I have quite a bit going on in this card like all different sorts of things were brewing in my head <laughs> so for the purples I just used V25 and V22 and then the blues was B16 and B14 um, again, working darkest to lightest, I'm, yeah, I'm loving it. I think this is kind of going to be something I do a lot from now on. I really like how this is working. It just has been keeping me from oversaturating my cardstock, which even after all these years, I still have a tendency to do. But working this way, I'm not applying as much color as I used to, and I'm just as happy with the results. So um, for the reds, I used R29 and then R24. And then for the yellows, it was Y06 and Y02. 
And then finally for my greens, I was using YG07 and YG05. So super, super simple. Once they were all colored, um, this set does have a matching um, die set that can cut out all the images. I don't have the die set. I don't know why I didn't get it. I think it might have been sold out at the time when I did get the stamp set. I can't remember, but since I didn't have the dies, um, I fussy cut these out with scissors, which I don't do on camera because it is so difficult to try and hold the scissors and keep the image in the frame and all that fun stuff. So I shut the camera off, trimmed out these little guys with my scissors, and then set all that aside and got out my Big Shot again. I have the sending die. This is from Simon Says Stamp. This was one of the dies I was waiting on for so long. <laughs> this set has been sold out forever at Simon Says. And then they shipped mine out like really, really quickly. And then it got held up. Something was going on with Canada Post and customs and everything else. Like it had nothing to do with Simon Says Stamp. I found out through a th someone else saying like there was issues going on at the border. Like this parcel was held up for two weeks to a month. I can't remember how long it was. It was ridiculous anyway, for no reason. Like I wasn't charging anything. There was nothing wrong with the package. Like it was stamps and dies. So I don't know. I'm hoping that those issues have been resolved at the border because that is the longest I've ever had to wait for something on top of it being sold out. And I'd been waiting for weeks for it to get back in stock anyway. So anyway, anyway, that was a little random side note there. So I used the sending die and ran it through my big shot um, with some black cardstock and I had shown there, I'd used my metal shim, um, which I'll hopefully remember to link to in the supplies. I just find that adding that metal shim adds um, just an extra little bit of thickness with really super detailed dies like this. So it cut like butter, it was perfect. So after I'd finished die cutting that, I grabbed the new Simon Says Stamp Sending and Wishing stamp set that I'd got with this um, die and inked up the You Smiles stamp from the set and stamped that onto the cardstock. That was why I had omitted that little cloud there because I knew I wanted to stamp um, a sentiment in that spot. So again, push that all aside so I can get my card base here. And it's just, again, 110 pound white cardstock that was cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches and then scored at five and a half. So it'll be a top folding A2 size card. So four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I was originally going to pop um, this summer splash card stuck up on foam tape, but then changed my mind because um, I knew the sending die cut was going to hang over the edge. And because it's so finely detailed, I didn't want to fiddle with trying to add any sort of foam or anything behind um, the end of it because it's just, it would just take forever to trim it down and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I adhered that flat to the cardstock, but the little... Uh, monkey and the balloons I wanted to pop them up so I put just ripped some foam tape and applied that to those little pieces which works really well too because the foam tape I find adheres super well over things like the embossing paste in that whereas if I had tried to adhere it flat um, the embossing paste is bumpy and it's harder to adhere over and that kind of thing so I just head for the foam tape it just works better <laughs> so figured out how I kind of wanted those to um, lay on the card front and then for this sentiment um, I grabbed just my Tombow Mono Multi and squeezed a little bit on the back of the liner of the foam tape um, a craft sheet would work too but I already put it away from earlier so and I just find with my craft sheet um, I love my craft sheet but my camera picks it up funny I just when I'm filming it you know makes weird lines and stuff and I have no idea why it does that it drives me nuts so I only use the craft sheet when I have to and then try to keep it out of the camera like um, focus when I'm doing the rest of the card that's a whole other story so anyway I'm um, squeeze the adhesive onto the backing of the foam tape which was perfect and then um, I'm using one of these little micro applicators. I had shown these in, I think, yeah, my last Simon Says Stamp haul video. So yeah, I've been using them quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I've shown using them in any videos or not, but I've also been using just one so far. Like the container comes with like a hundred in it or something like that. But I've us been using the same one since I got them because I just wipe it off with a baby wipe and then reuse it again and again and again. So I've used just one for the past two or three weeks now something like that so once it gets too gummed up I'll toss it and start using a new one but these things are awesome I really like them for little 
tiny die cuts like this with really fine areas, it helps to kind of keep the glue from oozing out everywhere. So applied the adhesive, used my tweezers to kind of place the die cut where I wanted it. And at this point I was like super happy with how this card was coming out. It was just turning out almost exactly how I was picturing it in my head, which again, I've said this before, it's rare that when it happens, but the times it does, it's just so fun. So to finish it off, I added some doodle bug sprinkles in the same sort of colors I used um, for the balloons, just to kind of tie it all together in a simple embellishment. And then on the inside of the card, I just grabbed the same stamps again and just inked them up with my favorite things, snow cone ink, which is really, really pale, kind of aqua blue sort of color. Um, I've had people ask me with stuff like this, like, do I write around the images or do I write over them? Um, I purposely stamp things like this with a really pale color so that you can write right over it with a ballpoint pen and it's not going to interfere with your message or, you know, you're not going to be able to read it or anything like that. Um, yeah, I have no problem just writing right over it. It's just kind of there for decoration and, you know, just to kind of finish the inside so it's not completely bare. And then the sentiment is from the same Little Mama Elephant um, Up and Away set. And I just inked that up with the Black Licorice Hybrid ink and stamped it right over those little stamped images. And then I was going to leave it, but I had to add just a little bit more. <laughs> so I took my Wink Estella, just the clear Wink Estella, and coated all the balloons with that. Um, I had debated, I almost used my um, Pico embellisher, the one I've used like a ton in recent videos with the clear that has the sparkle. I thought that would have been perfect and it would have been. Um, I just thought I would just keep it simple with just a sparkle and not like sparkle and um, the glossiness and all that kind of stuff. But that definitely would have been an option. Either one would have worked great or glossy accents. I just don't use glossy accents because it takes forever to dry. I don't have the patience. But this worked perfect and it's dry almost instantly. So as always, there will be a link below the video um, with all the supplies used and links to those as well as a link to my blog post. So check that out below if you're interested in any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I really appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye!